Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, we have a bunch of Flysky's new iBus 2 sensors. And these are to work on the uh, Noble Pro, amongst others, with the iBus 2 sensor settings. So, first off we have the FS IBS01, and this is an RPM sensor. So, let's get this one open. But, as you can see straight away, these are way smaller than the original sensors. Uh, they run from 3.5 to 9 volt, and they run off the iBus 2. So I will be doing a video on the new firmware, at least showing you how you set these up. Um, looking at them, the biggest difference is there doesn't seem to be any pass-through on these. So whereas before you could daisy-chain them, these don't seem to have the ability to daisy chain, or at least the RPM one doesn't. Um, you do get, for the RPM one, you get some of these little stickers that you can stick on. And this one, I believe, is the light sensor. So this will just pick it up as it goes past. You get some little heat shrink to put around it as well. And it just gives it a target with some lines on. So it can sense the RPM of your motor or wheel rotation or anything like that. You also get the silver reflective one and you get a bunch of the Fly Sky stickers. But definitely a lot smaller. Right, so basically what you have to do with these is set the port you want it to connect, be connected to to iBus 2. Plug it in and off you go. So let's have a look at some of the other sensors. So, our next one is the FSIBT01, and this one's a temp sensor, and I'm guessing again by the looks of it, yeah, this one is uh, again way, way smaller than the uh, original temp sensors. You've still got the function LED on them, but definitely way, way smaller. Not sure if I preferred being able to daisy chain them, but then again, they do work on the Noble Pro, the MB4, the MB4 Lite. And I think these are more designed to work on your enhanced receivers because they've got the options, I believe, to set ports to iBus 2. And I believe you can set more than one port to iBus 2 as well. If not, we'd have a load of sensors that you can only use one at once. And I don't think that's the case with them. So yeah, they, they will work on the MB4 from firmware version 2093. Uh, Noble Lite from firmware version 101010. Paladin 18 from version 1055. And Paladin Lite and Paladin EDU from 1065. Um, if you forget to set your port to censored, you'll just get a slow flashing red light. So you'll know you've not set your port. And again with this one, you do get some little 3M tape to stick the uh, sensor into place. I do like how much smaller these are than the uh, original sensors as well. So, moving on, this is the FSIBA01, and this one's an altitude sensor. So again, this one is really, really small. You do have the light on it, and again... 3.5 to 9 volt. You do get the little 3M tape stickers to fasten it into place. Yeah, it does say Noble Firmware version 2093, Noble Lite, Noble Pro, PL18, PL18 Lite. So yeah, we should be able to use this on uh, any of us radios. So I will be doing both MB4 and Pro, showing you how you set this up. And this one is basically for measuring your altitude so if you want a really accurate way of doing that you've now got it but it's just a quick look at these sensors to give you some idea of what's up and coming um, there will be a lot of uh, fly sky content as soon as version 3 of the firmware is released for the noble pro um, and as it says on these sensors they will work with the MB4 so I will be showing you how to set these up on the MB4 as well because I don't want you guys being left out with the uh, original controller. But thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family and uh, catch you guys again in the next one.